Hey, welcome back to the channel. This is gonna be another fishing video. Uh, I got the evening here to fish for about an hour and a half as the sun's going down. And uh, yeah, we're gonna hit up a little local pond here in town. And uh, obviously, we're gonna truck it. But yeah, we're gonna go uh, give this a whirl. This is stocked a couple years ago, and we're gonna see. What, uh, what we can catch this evening. Hopefully we can catch some uh, largemouth bass and maybe some bluegill. So let's get to it. We're going to fish off the dam over here. Uh, I want, I've chosen the dam because uh, back in the winter time, back in January, uh, when this was frozen over, uh, I actually planted uh, a few Christmas trees out here, and uh, if you want to check out that video, I'll leave the link right up above here, and you can check out that video. Uh, the Christmas trees getting planted, so uh, we're going to try to fish around those and see if uh, fish are using it as habitat, uh, see if my plan works. Here's the dam that we're going to go fishing on. Looks like uh, some beavers have been around here chewing up some trees. I see a tree that's down right over there. Yeah, maybe that'll provide some more habitat too. Maybe we'll see the beaver too. Uh, hopefully we'll see it. Look at that tree. <laughs> that beaver's going to town, hasn't it? Put in a culvert here too. That's new. That beaver has chewed up the tree for sure. It's down. I guess I didn't need to plant Christmas trees if I knew that was gonna happen. The Christmas trees are right out here. What I'm using here, what I'm using is this green jig head with the tube jig on it, uh, pink with chartreuse tail. So, see if we can maybe get some bluegill, if not a large amount, to hit on it around these Christmas trees. Boy, it's windy out here. Well, what days aren't windy in central Nebraska? Probably 15, 20 mile an hour wind. At least it's out of the south, so it doesn't feel as cold. We are fishing in about, I don't know, 55 degree weather. I am literally casting right into those trees that I put out in this pond. There are some decent sized bluegill in here. I've caught those while ice fishing. Well, and open water fishing last year too. So they should be bigger this year, which is great food for the bass that were put in here. So if anything, to catch anything, it should be at least a bluegill. Well, there's a nice little backlash. What the heck is that all about? So here in Nebraska, we're about a week out from the turkey shotgun opener. So I'm definitely excited for that. Be looking out for some turkey videos coming up. Hey, I caught some trash. Trash from the construction site. Lovely. Okay, nothing's hitting on this. So let's switch poles and go to a lipless crankbait.
All right, let's try this bad boy. A lipless crankbait. Looks like a shad. Silver with orange tint on the bottom, black tint on the top. Throw this around that Christmas tree. There's some fish right there that just blew up. My lure was coming by, so that's promising. There we go. Hey. Oh, that was sweet. He exploded on it. Nice. Oh, yeah. That was a sweet hit. That's a nice large mouth. It's the first I've caught in this pond. All right, that's awesome. That was a sweet hit. He just smacked it. That was <laughs> that was an awesome, awesome hit. All right, come on. Get off of there. There we go, nice little large mouth, probably about a pounder. All right, in you go, buddy. Thanks for playing along. God, he was just right here, right in front of me. I'm trying to cast out here past the three Christmas trees that I set up. I'm trying to bring this little crankbait across the trees hoping that something might be sitting in the Christmas trees and jump out to nail the crankbait so I guess we'll see if this technique works I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw this jig out there just a tad bit off the bottom and see if anything I mean, bluegill take it. Let's try that. All right, I'm going to try this black and blue chatterbait and see if I can't get get it done. It's been slow going on this. So for me this evening, uh, yeah, I just caught that one large mouth and that was it uh, on the lipless crankbait. That got it done, but it was a great bite. I mean, literally it was about two feet uh, from this tree here, from the shore, and uh, he attacked it good. That, that, was a, that was a fun catch. So although it was only one fish, um, it was a short little fishing trip. Hopefully you enjoyed that uh, catch that I had there. There's one. Uh, come here, buddy. Man, they are hiding right here by this tree. That's for sure. Ooh, that's a, that's a nice one. That's a real good one. It's probably a two-pounder. That one's a little bit bigger than the one last night. We are here the next day, the next morning. Snuck away and got out here. There we go. On the lipless crankbait again. It's a good looking healthy bass. Yep. 
me get out my pliers here. Okay. He is loose. Back in he goes. He is just right here by this tree. Just hanging out. Waiting to ambush. And that's what he did. Throw him back. Thanks for playing along. So that was either... A bigger fish than last night or the one from last night grew a little bit overnight which i highly doubt that that but yeah they are right here just in this tree just chilling Let's see if we can't get another one he was almost in the same spot as last night Using the same lipless crankbait. I think it's mimicking the bluegill that are in here that they're feeding off of. Plus, it's got a silver flash to it as well. I'm using a slow retrieve too, I'm not doing anything fancy. The beaver tree gets it done. That's what I'm calling this spot, the beaver tree spot. Got beavers and bass. Although I haven't seen a beaver yet. That would be awesome if I saw one, because that would top it off. That'd be the title of this video, beavers and bass. Switch to the black and blue chatterbait. See if that can get it done. There we go, fish on, on the chatterbait. There we go, that's a nice hit. And slow retrieval too. What do we got here? I didn't, a bass? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Come here buddy, come on, come on, come on. Oh, that's another dandy. <clears throat> oh, I didn't really get up enough. Like the chatterbait. Yeah. Oh, that's another good one. That's a that's a pretty one. On the chatterbait. Sweet. Great fish. I like it. Hi, Mr. Bass. Hi, buddy. Oh, that's a big one. All right. And go. Sweet. Yes. 
So I'm using folks the black and blue chatterbait with a little blue flake on it. And that was right around the Christmas trees. Literally, I put the Christmas trees right out there. Healthy looking largemouth. I'm using a St. Croix six foot medium power fast action rod with a uh, Mitchell 300 uh, spinning reel. And I believe I have 10 pound monofilament line on here. There we go. Another one. Fish number three of the morning. That's what you call a shore flip. <laughs> People have boat flips. I got shore flips. There we go. That was about the same size as last night. Might be the same one. Who knows? But another nice largemouth. Man, they are, they are just good looking bass in here. They're doing well. I think they got stocked a couple years ago. and Yeah, I'd say they're doing pretty well. Feeding well. Can't see anything that's in his mouth. But All right, let you go. <coughs> All right, so, so far, out of this pond, I've caught two on the lipless crankbait and two on the chatterbait, black and blue chatterbait. So we're tied. I didn't think this was gonna be a competition out of lures, but we're gonna make it a competition. That one came right out by this tree again. They say fish the windy side. Uh, I'm definitely doing it. There we go. Fish on. Oh, he's a feisty guy. He is feisty. Oh, this is a this is a pretty big bass here. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come on. Oh, I don't know if I can reach him. There we go. Oh, on the jerk bait. Right in the upper lip, right where you want them. Right where you want to hook them. There we go. Nice. Yeah, he's probably about a pound and a half. He might be pushing two. It's a nice bass. All right, that was a nice hit. Okay, send you back. Three feet out from the bank here. That was awesome. They're up here, 
pretty shallow. I mean, we're we're probably talking three foot of water. I think they're in their pre-spawn mode right now. So I have now caught bass on three different lures, a lipless crankbait, a uh, jerk bait, and a saying the wind has picked up so we got a cold front coming through tonight and snowing tomorrow 65 degree weather today and snowing tomorrow that's nebraska weather for you holy cow that's well, gonna be a wrap for the day uh it's just got too windy out here i'm actually uh, right here next to a trailer I'm trying to block out some of the wind so you can hear me but yeah last night we caught that uh, one largemouth bass this morning and caught three large mouth and uh, then came back this evening and, and caught one more so uh, I think I found a spot on this pond. Uh, they, they were really shallow I think they're in the pre-spawn uh, since it is April and, and in the spring but uh, yeah that was really fun. Uh, caught them off three different lures over the two days and uh, caught them off the black and blue chatterbaits. this pond.